What are quantum dots? Various methods for the preparation of carbon quantum dots. Quantum dots are man-made nanoscale crystals that have unique optical and electronic properties. They are semiconductor particles that are a few nanometers in size, and their properties differ from those of larger particles due to quantum mechanical effects. Quantum dots are sometimes referred to as artificial atoms because their electronic wave functions resemble those of real atoms. The properties of quantum dots are determined by various factors, including size, shape, composition, and structure. Quantum dots have many potential applications, including single electron transistors, solar cells, LEDs, lasers, single photon sources, second harmonic generation, quantum computing, cell biology research, microscopy, and medical imaging. Their small size allows for some quantum dots to be suspended in solution, which may lead to their use in inkjet printing and spin coating. Quantum dots can also be used in displays, including televisions and smartphones, to enhance and enable the LCD to reveal a wider and more saturated range of colors than would otherwise be possible. Quantum dots can be produced using various methods, including colloidal synthesis, hydrothermal method, microwave pyrolysis, electrochemical oxidation, chemical exfoliation, and arc discharge method. The most typical method is colloidal synthesis, which involves heating a solution containing precursors to form monomers, which then produce nanocrystals. The size of the quantum dots can be controlled by changing various properties of the particle, including shape, material composition, and size. Here is a complete procedure for preparing carbon quantum dots using various methods. Prepare a precursor solution containing a carbon source, such as glucose or citric acid, and a surface passivation agent, such as polyethylene glycol PEG. Sonicate the precursor solution using an ultrasonic bath or probe for a specific duration and power to promote the formation of carbon quantum dots. Prepare a precursor solution containing a carbon source and a surface passivation agent. Transfer the precursor solution to a hydrothermal reactor and seal it tightly. Heat the hydrothermal reactor to a specific temperature and maintain it for a certain period to induce the formation of carbon quantum dots. Microwave pyrolysis. Mix a carbon source, a surface passivation agent, and a solvent, such as water or ethanol, in a suitable container. Place the container in a microwave oven and apply a specific power and duration to initiate the pyrolysis process, which leads to the formation of carbon quantum dots. Electrochemical oxidation. Prepare a solution containing a carbon source, such as graphite or graphene, and a supporting electrolyte. Apply a specific potential or current to the solution using a two-electrode or three-electrode setup to induce the oxidation of the carbon source and the formation of carbon quantum dots. Dissolve a carbon-rich material, such as graphite or carbon nanotubes, in a suitable solvent, such as N-methyl-2-pyrrolidone (NMP) or dimethylformamide (DMF). Add a strong oxidizing agent, such as sulfuric acid (H2SO4) or nitric acid (HNO3) to the solution and sonicate it for a specific duration to promote the exfoliation of the carbon material and the formation of carbon quantum dots. Set up an arc discharge apparatus with two graphite electrodes in a suitable atmosphere, such as argon or helium. Apply a high voltage between the electrodes to generate a plasma arc, which leads to the vaporization and subsequent condensation of the carbon material into carbon quantum dots. The specific details and conditions for each method may vary depending on the desired properties of the carbon quantum dots and the available resources.